Today I'm going to show you how I make this animated uh, travel map for all my videos. First we do is head over to DaVinci Resolve. We go into the effect library, into effects in the toolbox and drag a fusion composition down to our timeline. I find that um, a fusion composi composition of uh, 6 to 8 seconds is the best for uh, this kind of animation. 8 seconds before I start. And now I go into Google Maps and I take a screenshot of whatever map I would like to show my um, driving line on. For me, I want to go from Bergen to Bergen. And I take a screenshot of the map. I go back into Fusion, I open Finder, and I put the screenshot into the media pool, and then I head over to the Fusion page. Inside in Fusion, I'm gonna drag the screenshot I had from the media pool, and I'm gonna connect it to the media out. Because the aspect ratio of the screenshot and the timeline can vary a little bit, I always make sure to resize the screenshot. Shift space and resize. And now I'm gonna attach the line. I will take a background, attach that that will merge into the rest. And now you see it's all in completely back. I will take a new color, I will use red, and then I will search for a mask paint. With the mask paint um, selected, I will go over to polyline stroke. I will go into the inspector tab to the brush controls, and I will lower this a lot. I will take it down to, yeah, roughly around 0, 0, 005. And now I will zoom into the map and start clicking from Bergen. And I will just follow the roads like this. This can be a little bit time consuming. So now I'm just roughly painting in the, the line as we go. It doesn't need to be 100%. And now I have arrived to Borgen. And you can see the line is a little bit thick still. And then I can go into the brush control in the inspector panel with the mask paint selected. And I can adjust it just a little bit up or down. I think I'm going to go for 0, 0 0.3. See how that looks? Yeah, that looks much better. But it still looks a kind of flat on the map, so I would add a drop shadow. So I select the background node, I hit shift space, and I do a drop shadow. With the drop shadow selected, I go into the inspector tab again, and I will take the blur and lower it a lot. You see the line comes much more visible on the map. I find that approximately 15, 0 0.15 is a good option. And then I just move the drop distance down so it's just visible underneath the line. This makes the line pop out much better. But still, it's just a line drawn on the map. You can't see it move anyway, anywhere. So I go to the first uh, frame and I select the mask paint and I go into stroke controls in the inspector panel and here you have right on option and I will bring it all the way down, hit the keyframe uh, diamond or keyframe button and I go all the way to the last frame and I will drag it all the way up. This animates the line on the map. 
And of course, this, this is just the line. You can animate in text, you can animate in pictures, uh, like I did in the intro. You can do a lot more. This is just an easy way to show you how it's done in Fusion, because I get a lot of questions how I do this. And uh, I can go back to the Edit tab, and now I can see how it looks on the final result. In the middle of the map, it don't stand out as good. So I will go into Fusion again. And I will add a transform node. And with the transform node, I will make this to fit. I will increase the size. And I can adjust it a little bit. Now, when I go back to the edit, And this is the whole process of how I animate my travel maps on my videos, or my travel videos. Uh, DaVinci Resolve you can find on, uh, online for free. You can do everything I showed you today on the free version as well. If you would like to learn more about uh, DaVinci Resolve, I highly recommend to go into YouTube and watch a guy called Mr. Alex Tack. It's an English bloke who um, makes really good videos about the DaVinci Resolve and it really easy to follow him step by step how you animate and uh, do different work on uh, in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you found this video helpful and uh, thank you for watching.